So today I'm telling you about the scenarios. That's the third mini arc of the story Auntie Toast the Via M O O R P G. No! We are an MORPG. <laughs> if you don't want to be spoiled for the story, if you haven't uh, read the story at all and you don't want to be uh, spoiled, you shouldn't watch this video. This video is for people who read up to chapter 23. 23 is the first transitional chapter between the mini arc Welcome to the Meta World and the new arc The Scenarios. Um, there will be two additional transitional chapters then the first uh, scenario will start. And I won't spoil you about the first scenario, but I had very much fun writing it. But uh, that's not a good indication uh, if you ha will have fun reading it, because I had um, very much fun writing the bank Robby arc. It wasn't uh, the, the bank robbery chapter, and it wasn't one of the most uh, popular chapters I have written. So, we'll see. Good, so what is a scenario? Let's start with, with how you can start a scenario. You go to the set we was a shop, and you can purchase it from there. There is a description, a difficulty rating, an estimation, how much time it'll take in average. This is so something I won't write and explain to you in the story, but I thought of the average time that the system automatically subtracts all the people who stopped it because of external reasons. If uh, you have a kids monitor in your pot, your kids uh, want uh, something from you and you are forced to stop the scenario, uh, this will not count into the average time. You can pause some scenarios, especially uh, single player scenarios. Yeah, so, so this would be uh, another option. Um, if you play a single p uh, person uh, scenario, you can uh, pause it, speak with your husband or wife or kids and a return to the scenario. You can imagine this feature a bit yeah, like an uh, old-timey video game or like a movie. Yeah, And these are two of the three most um, popular scenarios, by the way. The scenario I mentioned in chapter 23, one of the scenarios Flora will do, is Super Mario Bros. 1985, or is it Super Mario Bros? Yeah, and um, when you start a scenario, you switch into it, you switch into the world of the scenario, and there are restrictions, there can be restrictions um, to the skills you can use, or um, to the level, uh, the maximal, uh, maximum level, or um, the minimum level. If you have a higher level than a maximum level, you will get uh, down uh, graded. And if you have a lower um, level, you will, um, you, the, your level will be raised and uh, you can adjust your uh, stats. But of course, you will be uh, weaker than someone who is on this level naturally in this state of the game. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. Over level uh, 250, you can lose stats by several things, mostly dying. So if you play bad enough, it could be that you are more powerful if the system raises you automatically than your actual stats. But I don't think that this will happen in the near future. Sorry, I'm rambling. Back to the scenarios. So, old-timey video games. 
And the second uh, thing you can pause as well in real life are movies. And uh, this idea was uh, or a spell in Ready Player One, but in Ready Player One you um, switched into the movie and replaced one of the characters um, of the movie, but you had to know the lines of the movie and your goal was to um, repeat the lines as close as possible to the movie. This is not the case in uh, the scenarios. Uh, you have the total freedom, you have total freedom, but you can, but if you change the plot that much that uh, the system says, sorry, I can't go to the next scene of the movie because it wouldn't make any sense anymore, then the scenario stops. So, uh, yeah, you can crash movies, and I think that's fun too. But if you want to experience the whole movie, you have to act uh, very close to the original or close enough that the system can um, resolve the plot with your input. Okay, we have games, we have movies as scenarios. And um, other scenarios are challenges, like um, the bank robbery was. Uh, there was a scenario. You had uh, one task, rob a bank. Here. Yeah. That's it. The third most um, popular kind of scenarios are historical scenarios. Be a soldier in the Civil War. Or caution, spoiler, look away for those... It's a minor spoiler. For those who want to be spoiled, uh, I write it. Okay, it's away now. You can uh, look back on the screen. I want you, as my readers, to um, suggest me some scenarios. Do you have a favorite um, old-timey game? Do you have a favorite movie? Or, you, or do you have a, a movie uh, you want to see Flora deconstruct, maybe even conquer it, uh, or go to the end of it, you can uh, suggest it. And I'm looking forward to your suggestions. And of course, um, I've got a special offers for my Patreon. For uh, five uh, euro at least, um, I will write you scenario idea guaranteed. This offer stands only for... Does it stand for a certain time? I mean, yes, the next arc will um, focus on scenarios, but um, there's no time limit on scenarios. Flora can do scenarios as long as she wants. So, okay. No time limit, let's say, but a limit of uh, one scenario uh, per, per Patreon. Let's say it like this. Okay. So you want a guaranteed um, scenario? Become my Patreon. It's a very elusive group at the moment. Shout out to my two Patreons, Aurebiel and Dennis. I hope I could give you a glimpse what it means uh, to play a scenario and I'm looking forward to your suggestions. But I want to speak about another thing as well and this is experience. Uh, Flora will do experience in chapter 24 or 25. Around this time, I anticipate that some people will think, oh, what's the difference between an experio and um, a scenario? So in a scenario, you have your full freedom of will and movement. You can say, okay, I will uh, crash this up and you will get expelled or died, but you can behave like uh, a troll in a porcelain uh, shop. No problem. In experience, you experience a situation out of the body 
of someone else, the one who recorded the experience. So um, if you experience a movie in the experience, you feel your mouth move and the sounds coming out of your mouth, but you have no degree of free will, no degree of influence over what you will say. But I think um, that, uh, especially for movies, it could be an interesting uh, feature because, let's be honest, I can't move like John Wick, yeah? You can't move like John Wick. But um, experiencing the movies from John Wick's body or perspective or uh, some of the other Keanu Reeves movies, like The Matrix. Yeah, that would be awesome. Of course, I want to uh, not watch the movies, but um, experiencing it from the action star perspective. So uh, these experiences are not only for entertainment, but primarily, primarily for learning purposes. Give me a good martial arts uh, routine and um, after experiencing it a few times, I think you can imitate it. Or crafting, or knitting. Oh, knitting is crafting. Yeah, free running. The possibilities are endless. Even uh, doing not safe for work stuff could be interesting as well. Yeah, so uh, that are experience. Mm, if you have suggestions for experience, uh, yeah, I mean, you can write it, but this is one of the things I thought of so many experiences that the chances are good that uh, the ideas you're posting will uh, be included in one of an or another form uh, without you mentioning it. But oh, that would be a cool challenge, but hard to judge if I would be cheating or not, but I'm not a cheating type, so um, I challenge you to imagine an interesting experience I have not thought of before. Great challenge. What a surprise. <laughs> I mean, a, a logical price where that I include that experience, <laughs> but maybe it's so um, abstruse that neither you nor me want to include it. <laughs> yeah, so uh, just um, write what kind of price you, w you want um, if you think you have a good candidate for a really unique experience. The arc is starting with the transitional chapters 23, 24, 25 and then officially starting at chapter 26. I don't know how many chapters it will go but um, I know what uh, time in the game it stops. It stops when the next arc is ready. <laughs> like you know, Flora has a quest from Efi, her former um, AI companion and now goddess. Um, I haven't thought about the pronunciation yet. Efi, maybe Efi, Efi Lee, Efi Lee. Mm -hmm. Pronounce it like you like. So she has to be at her temple um, before Monday 1, one o'clock because um, the quest is timed on a week. Now in the story we have chapter 24, 25 are on uh, Tuesday 1. So these are the next few days um, on the scenario. There is a different arc which maybe will be integrated in the, the scenarios. It's called The Duel. Uh, but I'm not sure how to integrate it, exactly when to place it in the timeline. So uh, we'll see about that. I hope you in will enjoy the new arc as well. 
I'm very happy about the uh, feedback I got uh, from you so far. I'm thrilled that you're liking my story. And uh, thank you for all the uh, spelling uh, corrections and grammar corrections. I thought about making a list about my most funny misspellings. <laughs> Till now, it's definitely uh, one food on the skateboard, uh, food with a D. <laughs> yeah. And um, she threw courses at him, uh, courses like lessons instead, courses like uh, you bleeping bleep hat, what the bleep you thought bleeping doing, bleep. Yeah, it's kind of like a bloopers for authors. <laughs> yeah, those homophones, eh? they, uh, they... Uh, they own me big time. I, I got pawned by them. <laughs> okay, whatever. See you soon. Oh, and uh, like, subscribe, comment. YouTube chess, you know it. Bye-bye.